everyone, it's Destiny. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I apply eyeliner to my upturned shaped eyes. I've been doing this technique since middle school, so it's been a very long time. So my eye shape is more upturned, kind of like almond and upturned. So I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. This is the only stuff I can use. It's a super thin brush, super, super wet, like liquid, it's great. Okay, so the best way for me to describe how I do my liner is I literally take it and I start at the corner of my eye and I almost draw like a thick line above and I come out, make my wing come back in and essentially the wing and then I just go back and fill it in. The key is to get as close to your lash line as possible because what you also don't want is to open your eyes and then you can see like your skin underneath your mascara which I've been there, we've all been there. And that's it, that's how I do my eyeliner for my upturned shaped eyes. Hi guys, I'm Carolina, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how I do my eyeliner on my round eyes. So I usually use the e.l.f. liquid liner, but today the one that I have on hand is this Anastasia Beverly Hills action got, that we got going on here. My key thing is, I draw a line down here, I kinda of draw a little line up towards it, kind of towards like where my eye, the end of my eyebrow is and then I figure out how to do this eye. If that makes any sense, it doesn't. But we're just gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Little baby stroke. Go across the eye. And then, and you go up. Oh, this one is perfect. This one sucks. We're gonna redo this one. And that is how I do my winged liner. Now, if someone can teach me how to line my lips next, that would be good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joelle, and today I'm gonna show you how I apply eyeliner to my demi creased, demi monolidded eyes. The reason that I call it that is because my eyelid tends to change shape depending on the day. And I know that I'm not the perfect representative of what the stereotypical mono lid looks like. So this eyeliner technique I found tends to work for my eye shape depending on whether it decides to be more mono lidded or more creased that day. Inner half a little more mono lidded, outer half, there we get a crease. Right now, my weapon of choice for when it comes to my winged eyeliner is this NYX Epic Ink Liner. And it's wonderful because it is a great drugstore dupe for the Kat Von D liquid eyeliner that everyone raves about. We love it, but it's expensive. So this is a good cheap alternative. I love it because it has a brush tip as opposed to a felt tip, so it never gets dull, even when the product is starting to dry out a little bit more, and it's waterproof, which for me, as someone with pretty oily eyelids, that's really important. What I do is I really closely line my lashes right above where my lash line is with a thin, uniformly thick line. Towards the outer corner of my eye, I start to lift up a little bit from the lash line. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. I'm not gonna fill anything in. Then I take my eyeliner pen and I use it to draw an angle that continues the angle that my lower lash line creates. Now that that's there, that's gonna be my guide for the rest of the wing. I'm just going to continue this line to meet at that outer corner. Nice. Now I just fill it in. So that's one eye done. And from here, I sometimes will, depend, depending on how dramatic I wanna go, I sometimes will thicken the outer corner of the swing. And I really like how this eyeliner shape just elongates my eyes. Asian eyes, I feel like it looks nice to elongate like that and to accentuate the natural shape. And that is how I do my winged liner for my semi monolidded eyes. Hi, I'm Spencer and today I'm gonna to be showing you how I apply eyeliner to my almond eyes. I'm very confident in my ability to do winged eyeliner. This is my favorite product to do my eyeliner. It's a liquid eyeliner, but it also has a felt tip. I usually follow you know, my lower lash line, right? So I go right up here. Boom, first step done. I don't go all the way to the end of my liner and pull straight through. So I'll pull from a little bit further than the end of my liner and pull to the center of my lid, just a straight line. I do a tiny, tiny thin line from my inner corner to the outside of 
the liner. And then fill it in. And with the excess that's on the brush, you can fill in any little, little baby areas, make everything a little more cohesive, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye, put on a lash, cover up any mistakes I've made, and I'll be back. And that is how I do winged eyeliner for my almond-shaped eyes. Hi, I'm Megan, and today I'm going to show you how I apply eyeliner to my hooded eyes. So to me, hooded eyes means that the crease of my eye is equal to or comes down past the end of my eye. And it also like hides some of my eyelid when I open my eyes, like a hood. I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, and I like the tip of this brush because it's like a paintbrush and a felt tip pen had a baby. I start by finding the trajectory of my lower lash line, and then I just follow it out towards my eyebrow. And I kind of just lay my brush down and paint a straight line out. See how there's like a little gap there? I open my eye and just connect the little lines. Just make it a clean, straight line. Next, I look straight into my mirror and draw a line from the tip of the wing straight over to where it touches my upper lash line. Next, with your eyes still open, just fill in all of the space between the lines you just made. So now when you're looking straight on, it looks really good and filled in, but when you close your eye, it's a little wonky. To fill in the weird missing triangle gap, what you're gonna do is draw a line straight from where it ends off here and then just fill in all of that empty space so that when you open your eye, it looks like a normal wing. Sometimes I'll go in with my eyeliner and add like a little line to the upper lash line that goes into the wing I just drew just to bring it all together. And this is the finished winged eyeliner look. It might look a little weird when you close your eyes, but when you open them, it looks perfectly normal. And this is just what us hooded eye people have to do. Hey, I'm Chelsea, and today I'm going to be doing eyeliner on my downturned eyes. What can be difficult about doing eyeliner on downturned eyes is that they're already going down a little bit while the wing itself you're trying to make lift you up. So if you're too off, then it could seem like something's going down but up and it kind of could be like a sad puppy dog situation. But if you do it right, then it can really uplift your downturned eyes and bring that, that like va va something, the voom. Okay, the two liquid eyeliners that I've been using forever. This is Transpore Surgical Tape. It's literally $3.65 on Amazon. You can also get it at most stores, CVS, and we are going to be using these with it. So again, take it, uh, back of your hand to do some stickiness. Be careful of your eyelashes. I start with the brush right at the center of my eye and then draw the liner towards the tape right up against my lash line. I then pull the line out up against the tape as long as I want the wing to be. Then I just go back and fill in any of these spaces and draw a thin line from my inner corner until it joins with the line that I already created. Ooh, I like that one. I like using the tape because if you're in a rush, it's kind of like a stencil, you know, as long as you follow the lines, you can't really go wrong. And that is how I do my eyeliner for my downturn eyes. Hi, I'm Angie, and today I'm showing you how I apply eyeliner to my upturned eyes. I feel extremely confident in the winged eye. I've been doing it since high school, almost every single day. I decided to do two colors today to just make it fun and colorful. Um, so I'm going to do the blue on the inside and then the green on the outside. So I'm going to start with the green on the outside. All I do, it's very simple, sometimes I will start from the base of the eye. Like I said, since I do have an upturned eye, I can easily just carry it up. Um, but at other times I will start from where I essentially want the point to end and then I will carry it down that same base and then I just carry it down into my eyelid I will then put a second layer and start to carry that out more onto my eye a little further this is a good place to start my blue so if this was just the solid color I would keep going 
Um, but I do want like to go to the base anyway, even if it is the same color. And then you can add a couple more layers of the color to just make it look as vibrant as possible. Okay, here's my final look. Added some mascara and it's fun, it's so simple, it's unique and it adds a really, really fun pop of color. Hi, I'm Jasmine and today I'm going to attempt to show you how to apply eyeliner to my almond eyes. Honestly, I am pretty confident doing my eyeliner on myself. I am terrified to film it. To me, the most difficult part about eyeliner is getting them to match. Well, I always do this eye first, and then I really struggle matching it. I've used Sephora Collection eyeliner for about the past five years. It's less than $15. It lasts for a very long time. So first thing that I do for my eyeliner is I go in to the corner of my eye and I draw a line up into how big I want the eyeliner or cat eye to be. Looks good to me. Next, I trace along my upper lash line and connect it from the top of my arc is where I go in and draw the line. I'm gonna color it in a little bit later. What I'm gonna do right now is the inner part of my eye. I basically go down to where I want the point to be and I make that line and I kind of connect it. I'm gonna finish this inside and I'm gonna draw the rest of my eyeliner. Fill it in. And do under. And I usually color in this little part over here as well. I'm going to fill in this. There we go. Beautiful! Since both my eyes are basically done, the shape is pretty much similar. Now I can go in and be a little bit more specific. Perfect. There we go. Beautiful! Alright, so I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup. And that is how I do my eyeliner for my almond shape eyes. It's a little crooked, I'm now noticing, so just tilt that head.